Hey, greetings everyone. This is Auburn Wonder uh, bringing a new stream tonight on the why and how of doing the scrying line. But first we're going to get some quick crafting done with the character who still has to learn how to scry. Uh, we're going to do our crafting in Mournhold tonight. Uh, this is a relatively new character for me. I figured everybody wants a heavy attack Sork these days, so I finally made a heavy attack Sork. Her name is Name Pending Approval. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or uh, if I'm going to use that name change token I have and uh, give her something more exciting. I haven't come up with anything clever yet. So I uh, have a webcam tonight, so I think you can see my beagle, Winston the Wonder Beagle. He's far more exciting to watch than I am. Uh, but I'm also concerned that the webcam microphone might uh, try to override the headset microphone. I haven't quite sorted that out. So if uh, anybody is joining the stream and can tell me if you hear weird echoes or anything like that, I would certainly appreciate it. Did a little shout out to a bunch of folks who followed me in the last 24 hours. I think we are now up to 12 followers, which is 12 more than I had a couple days ago. So thank you ever so much for that. We've got a goal of 50 followers. That'll uh, get me to affiliate status, and then maybe I can start giving people some nice freebies and things like that for coming into the into the fold. Okay, she's still leveling up a whole bunch of skills, so I'm gonna make sure I get some food on her here. Ethereal Ambrosia, get a few extra stuff going on. Hey, we have a viewer. Who's viewing? Welcome. Hold. Speak to me before entering Mournhold, citizen. I'm sure there's a way I can check to see who you are, but not while I'm doing my crafting. I remember now I also have an alchemist master writ I gotta go do. So we let's go do that. Psycho Psycho 145 on your crafting in Blackwood. Still not as good as my 140 uh, uh, record in Vivek, but that's still pretty good. Thanks for, thanks for doing that, Psycho, and uh, figuring it out for me. Let's see, I suppose I would have a better chance of doing this Master Writ if I actually... Oh, and now I got another one. No! So, let's see. I've got two Alchemy Writs, not gonna do that. I don't mind stacking up writs and doing them without having them pegged in the uh, quest thing, but not alchemy writs. It just takes too long to go through and find all the right traits. Bliss, what are we doing tonight? Tonight, as soon as I get this stupid crafting done, not stupid, important crafting done, uh, I'm going to take this poor character to Western Skyrim, and she's going to pick up the scrying skill line. That's going to be exciting, yes, isn't it? Isn't. Look at all those things ramping up from the stupid alchemy writ. Yay! Bliss, thanks so much for joining tonight. So, hey, uh, let me know, guys, how the uh, audio is doing, because with this uh, webcam... Uh, I want to make sure it's not uh, interfering with my headset mic.
This is Winston the Wonder Beagle sitting next to me on the sofa. He's very, very excited to be in tonight's stream. He's making his debut on Twitch tonight. Winston the Wonder Beagle has been with me, th with me for more than five years now. Uh, he is about 13. Uh, he was a rescue pup. And uh, my sidekick. Oh, thanks for the info, Psycho, on sound. I appreciate that. Um, I mostly want to make sure that there's not some funky echo coming in from my game sound because my webcam is, of course, sitting right in front of my speaker. I'm one of those people who likes to have my game sound not in my headset. I like to think of this as... Alrighty, we've done the things. Now i got to put on a different build because... This is her crafting build. We don't want to take this to Western Skyrim. The right armor. A rat will kill us. Okay, saving the healer build. I really want to have a sign above my armory station in my house that says, this character has gone X number of days without an armory station accident. Haven't done one for a while. All right, so... Scrying. Winston Cam, working great. Thanks for that, Bliss. I'm so glad you can see him. He is adorable, is he not? He gets his own lighting. I made sure he had good lighting for you guys. All right, so scrying. Why do you want scrying? Well, um, there are two reasons. You definitely want scrying on at least one of your characters because you want to be able to get all those cool things like the mythic items uh, where you have to scry all the leads for all the different fragments of the mythic items. And then you, uh, you also get all sorts of other cool shit like uh, costumes and hats. And who doesn't like a good hat? I mean, hats are important, right? Um, uh, furnishings, plus every time you scry, you usually get some decent treasure, you, you know, it's... T and besides, why wouldn't you want to do everything that you could do? You want to check off all the things, right? Except maybe for Tales of Tribute, because card games, I don't know, I think that's a little on the boring side. Uh, so, even if you already have scrying on, uh, all your on a character i like to get it because once you level up your excavation to a certain point which goes along with scrying you can see treasure chests easier so in order to start the scrying you have to go to western skyrim and as you can see this character has not been here yet fortunately i have the little house in town we're gonna go to the inside of the house i haven't seen the inside of my snow melt suite for a while Leads and motifs. Oh, yeah, Psycho, you are so right. Uh, the motifs that drop from uh, scrying are uh, nice and handy, uh, and they make good money on the side. All right, Snowmelt Sweet. I think I have all manner of uh, solitude-style things in this house, and I think I have a couple pets in here. Look! It's a beagle cam in my snowmelt suite. I even gave them a hunk of meat on the floor so they had something to eat when I'm not here. I'm not quite sure why I have this gigantic dwarven chandelier in there, but I guess I needed some place to put it. Yeah. Oh, and a map of solitude, just in case you get lost. Yep. And a little brazier of frozen flame. It's a cozy little place. Cozy little place. I spent an inordinate amount of time lining up the bench perfectly with the bed, like you do. OCD, or CDO, which is in alphabetical order, the way it probably should be. All right. So we got new servers today for the Xbox. Yay! Um, haven't really noticed too much of a difference because I think my pinch point is my Wi-Fi. But uh, I'm told that Greyhost is working much better uh, on the Cyrodiil side. You can run a gigantic ball group into another ball group and everybody can see what's going on. 
Okay, so here we are in Western Skyrim, and of course one of the features of having a house in a DLC zone is that you get a load screen leaving your apartment, and then you get another load screen leaving the building. But that's a good opportunity to take a drink of whatever adult beverage you might be enjoying. Tonight, it's a LaCroix water. Hey, I wonder if LaCroix will give me money for saying that. Okay, so here we are in solitude for the first time. Uh, I'm going to want to go to... I, oh, yeah, it's this building, because that is the little representation of antiquities, which is what we're scrying for. So we're going to head there. We're going to pick up that way shrine on the way, though, of course. So this is, in fact, my Oaken Sork, which is why she has an entire line of buffs going across the screen. Still leveling up a few things, but kind of fun. Oh, and you know, on your way there, don't forget to stop by the Bard's College. Uh, as a musician, I'm really uh, fond of the... Uh, Thing that you can do hey, in Western right, Skyrim, right, where you go around and find Pencil. all the interesting all right. instruments which go in these places. Someday she'll do that, not today. Oh, load screen. Sorry. All right. So we're gonna go into. The House of Antiquities, or the Antiquarian Circle, as it is called. It's in this part of Solitude, in a town that I think looks like a bicycle seat. So the Antiquarian Circle is pretty much right where your crotch What's would this? be if you were sitting on this thing. A new Antiquarian an in the making. Need. All right, this chick. So the. An invention of our oh, do you really? Founder, you don't want to read all this stuff, firing. right? This is like it my fifth time around mine. doing this. We're and just to the gonna go to easily. the yes, yeah, send me to the person. So I have to examine this antiquarian's eye sitting over here. Impressive. We rarely see such an energetic. Oh, look oh, at well, that! Well. Who would be it surprised? I know how. An excellent decision. I have the skill line. Mastering. Now then, all right. We so that's all it takes to get the earnest. to get the skill line of scrying and excavation. Down, but of course, again, it's not going to be leveled up at all. And I've got some because really bad news about this. Ooh, Chloe paper. Uh, experience potions, experience scrolls, none. Neither of those will allow you to level up your scrying or excavation faster. It's going to be pretty boring. You might want to bring a book. Uh, sorry, but the OCD in me really wants to take this champion point that I have. And I'm going to hang on to that skill point because I'm going to want to put it in one of these. So now you have the excavation and scrying skill lines. And as I mentioned, this is the passive that I'm going for, which you don't get until you're at excavation seven, by which time you will be clawing your eyes out. But, you know, if you like treasure chests, this is what you want to do. Isn't that right, Winston, buddy? Isn't that right? Yeah? Okay. You'll have to show them your other side at some point. All right, so Gabrielle is going to tell me all about oh, this. It's you. What do I the first time you look at the scrying uh, thing, mostly. It, it's I just going to fry in your brain. Maybe. No, just And then objects. after a while... Thanks. You, okay, so now she's showing me where it is. So we're going to... Oh, okay. So let me explain what just happened. When you go into your, when you want to scry something, you go into your journal and then antiquities and then describable, and you can look to see everything that's scryable under all active leads, but you can only scry in the zone that you're in. So you go there and look at that. I can scry Gabriella's bottle of proving. 
Well done. And since now I don't have any special abilities, I just lens. have to draw a line from one to the glass. other. Concentrate. And you and can the line merge. it up as a tool. You yeah, the I'll do that. But it's easier to get to it this way. Okay, so now it shows me on the map where it is. But this is not an interactive map, so I can't move around or mark anything on it. All I can do is look at it and say, that's nice. Okay. What a surprise. It's right outside the store. So whenever you uh, scry an antiquity, like it's going to look like this on the ground. So it's going to be kind of like a mound that you dry, get a treasure chest out of. Um, but it's going to have little swirlies around it. And of course there are passives so that um, once you start ramping up things, one of the things you can do for excavation is uh, put keen eye on them so that they're a little bit easier to see from farther away. There's another trick to doing them, uh, to finding them, uh, but you don't Remember need it for this one cautiously. since it's so obvious. Use the right tool for the right Again, you don't have any special skills here, right so right you're just Even careful digging can result in an digging. unsteady dig site. So be These things tell you, ooh, green means that's where the antiquity so is. The further away you go, it's orange or red. So look at that. I made a pretty rainbow of green, yellow, orange, red. Okay, so it's here. I've been using the skill that pops up, which is the find the piece skill. I'm sure that's not the name of it. I'm going to switch to the left trigger skill, which allows me to actually dig. And then I'm just going to uncover the antiquity. Lovely. Now I can uncover bonus items. These uh, won't show up as either green or anything if you... You can't really find them uh, by any way other than digging. They're giving me a lot of time to look for them, which is good because apparently I have a hard time finding them. There we go. All right, and I got a hammer as a extra thing. So now, there you have it. You're a She'll tell you what to do next. Now. She'll I say. I report back to Verida and let her know you successfully extracted your I've first. Done it. She'll give you all sorts of tips then that you might want to look Indeed. at. Blah blah if you blah. Achieve perfect, certain that's the trick. Well, maybe not. You might damage. Of course, we use the end. Okay, we're gonna ignore her and go back and finish this up. So, I've now. Let's see. Hey, there are four viewers. I know Psycho and Bliss are there. Who's lurking? Say hi. Say hi in the chat. I want to know who you are. There's a bunch of names in my first message in here. I hope you can all see it. Uh, just shouting out to everybody who joined, many of them from uh, the Architects of Inspiration Guild, which is where a couple of our chatters are from. Awesome guild. Very helpful people. All right, we're going to finish this off. Excellent. Yay, you completed have a great the quest. Deal of work to do, Antiquarian. All right. You really don't want to do your first scrying in a zone like this where you've got nothing on the map because scrying is going to send you to the farthest corners and it's going to take forever to get there. So what you want to do is go someplace. Everybody knows your name. Okay, so Deshaun, I have most of the way shrines in way sh in Deshaun? Yeah. So we're going to go to Deshaun and do some scrying there. Uh, I'm going to travel to this house. Hey, I haven't been inside this house either for a while. Let's go in there. This was my very first big house. Um, now it seems kind of tiny, but I was very excited to get it and decorate it and and then, of course, I took everything out of it and put it in my other places. I mean, not everything, but... It still has some fun stuff. I think I have a puppy. I think I have a puppy on a mat in my bedroom in the upstairs. Not particularly clever at housing.
Hey, we got another viewer. I don't know who you are. But welcome. I'm sure there's a place where I can find that. <laughs> I will have to look for that. Okay, so this is my Velothi home. I have a few fun things here. Nice wine rack. Oh, I have some of these here, but I think I ran out of uh, space to put all of them, so. Mm, downstairs I made the servants' quarters, so I have a orcish bed and a cot here. Not terribly comfortable, but the servants don't seem to mind. For the longest time I collected all my fish here. I've got a bucket of fish and more fish. Lots of fish, then I finally decided to start selling them. Upstairs, I have a an interesting table that when I first got all these chairs, I thought they were the coolest thing ever. And now I have like 27 Riven's King's Thrones and 25 of the, yeah. Let me out. Sure enough, there's my pup and my bed. All nice little dark elf furniture. Isn't that nice? And a blue themed dining room. Falathi Reverie has a nice little courtyard. Got a couple animals out here running around on things. Some wind chimes. Little place to hide away when you want a picnic. All right, but this is not what we're here for, is it? We are here to scry. As soon as we come out of the store, somebody's going to be whining about his wife missing. Pretty sure. Squirrel! Squirrel! Where's the squirrel? Squirrel! Hi, duck! Welcome to the chat. Squirrel. Yes, easily distracted. Okay, so I need to do some scrying. First, I want to find... No, I'm going to get close to the Sway Shrine because pretty sure no matter where I end up scrying, I'm going to have to travel to get when there. When are the guards going to do something about our missing people? I assure you, we're doing everything we can. Did he say missing people or missing beagle? I'm not missing a beagle. My beagle's right here. Look, duck, your spirit animal is in the stream. Okay, so scrying again. You go to journal, you go to antiquities, and you go to scryable and current zone. And this is pretty much the only thing you're going to be able to scry right now. Is the green thing that's here. And we've got no special abilities. Our goal is to try to link up all six of these things. Let's see if I can do it in the limited time they give me. I mean, time is, time is relative. <laughs> uh, it's not how fast you move around and do it, but you get a certain number of turns. You can see in this bottom thing that it says three, right down here below where, yeah, right bottom right here it says three so I have three turns left I can get all of them in three turns thank you so because I got all of them it's going to give me the location where it's at if I only got five out of six of them it would give me two possible locations then I'd have to go to both of them that would be annoying well that would be more annoying don't get me wrong this thing is getting scrying done is annoying all right, so we're going to head over here. The antiquity is somewhere in there. Okay, and you can see on the heads up thing just next to the east, there's that little antiquity marker, and you can see that it tells me that the dig site is that way. So that's where we're off to. And once we get into the area that it's uh, in, 
you'll get that uh, highlighted thing that you, you get whenever you're in the area of a quest. I just gotta double check how I'm getting there. Oh yeah. Hey, and when we're done scrying it, I'm going to take her into this grotto that she hasn't been at yet and get that all-important skill point, or sky shard out of there. So, now I'm in the area. Now, the thing that you can do is you... Okay, I gotta assign this as a tool. Collections, collections, tools, antiquarian's eye. We're going to assign that up there. Because OCD, all of my characters have it in that spot. All of my characters. So, gonna hold this down. If you haven't done this thing before, hold that down. Use the trigger to get to the tools menu. Cursor over to that. Okay, so this is telling me that it's in this direction. But of course I can't pass straight through the rock. So I'm going to have to do a little extrapolation. I hate bacon. Little fuckers. Okay. So this area goes a fair ways north. I might have to kill these people too. Excuse me a moment. Oh, let's get some pets out. Good god, it's a double pet build and I don't have any pets. Not as hurt as you're gonna be. Okay. Still haven't found the dig site, so I'm gonna kill a few more people. Ooh, and look, there's a mage's guild book over there. Squirrel! So after a certain amount of time has passed, and it surely has passed by now, uh, you can use the thing again. Oh, but you can only use it in a dig site, and I'm not in the dig site. I meant to do that to show you that feature. Yeah, right. Mm, let's pick up this rune stone. Ta. Just what I needed, more ta. Oh, there it is. Apparently they want me to go through all the enemies to get to it. Okay, so we found the dig site. Yay! So these, you get used to this after a while, but these represent different layers. So like this is, this has two layers of stuff on it. This has three layers of stuff on it. So I got an orange. So you can tell that wherever the antiquity is, it's someplace not right close to the orange square. It's in the other square. So I'll check over here. Oh, that's further away. So how about over here? That's further away. So maybe it's down in this corner. Bingo! So I still got like five more times. You can see that five, four down in the lower corner. So I could really zero in to figure out exactly where it is. Looks like it's totally in that corner. So switching to the digging tool, I can only dig one layer, one square at a time right now because I don't have any of those fun abilities that of course are going to chew up skill points. So I got the main thing, now I'm looking for the other thing, there it is. And it gave me a new lead. But remember how I told you how sad this is and how long it takes to level up? That blue lead that I got is still above my pay grade. It's difficulty intermediate. And I can only do simple. Which means I've got two choices. I can go someplace else and scry another greed thing, or I can just scry the green thing here in Deshaun over and over. So, I bet you're saying, hey, Ob, how, many, how much skill did we get for that? Are we any closer to getting to the next level? Well, let's check. That's our excavation skill, and that's our scrying skill. 
So about mm, four or five more and I'll get to level two. And at level two, I still won't be able to scry intermediate. I'll, I'll have to get to level three to do that. So you're in for a lot of scrying green things. Exciting, huh? But I got some good news. Uh, scrying works really well combined with other things. I like to do it with, um, if I pick up a Fighter's Guild quests, quest for uh, doing dolmens in a particular area, that's gonna, you know, send you all through a zone if you do them right in a row. Um, so picking up, doing the scrying while you're there, you can sort of pick it up on the side. Oop. And the clock strikes. Ask not for whom the bell tolls, it tolls not for the... I don't know, can you hear the... Yeah, you can probably hear that. I know in party chat people hear my... My, uh... <coughs> chime. Okay. Not the recommended way to get there. What? Come on down. Come on. Come on, pet. Oh. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm not doing any quests in here. No, I'm not looking for the Delve boss. No, 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 no. I'm looking for the Sky Shard and that's it. And it doesn't look like I'm really going to have to look at a map to figure out where the Sky Shard is. Ha! It's right by the exit! So what that means is uh for scrying and excavation into her crafting build. And I might even, since I'm not planning on using her as a healer uh, right away, I might take some of her points out of her uh, resto staff and uh, some of the stuff there, I might take them out of there. Because really, when you have this few skill points, it doesn't cost that much to go to the shrine and, and uh, get them changed. And then I can put them into the scrying and um, excavation lines. Uh, so yeah, good point on that, Bliss. Uh, it makes it exciting doing the scrying when you're on your crafting build because of course that means Knows anything attacks you, you're going to take a long time to kill it. So for right now, I'm just going to do it on this character because I don't have any I don't have any place I can put it until I get to level 2 anyway. All right. Got the sky shard. Scrying is done. Oh, there's so many things to kill. So little time! Oh, just one good round of killing everything.
but he did. Oh, look at that. Winston is dreaming. Can you see him running in his sleep? Aww. Catch that rabbit, buddy. Catch that rabbit. Shout out to Tangelina for suggesting that I uh, put Pepper Cam as one of my tags on this stream. You know, people like watching a good, a good dog dream. All right. So that's about as much excitement in scrying and excavation as you can probably handle in one night. I just wanted to make a quick little video of that in the hopes that somebody might find it and use it to figure out how to get the scrying skill. Uh, one of the things I think I'm going to stream sometime soon is uh, this character does not have any of the uh, companions yet. So uh, I think at some point maybe we'll do a little companion questing with her and show everybody how to get Ember and Bastion and uh, Miri and Isabel. So that'll be on the docket. But hey, if uh, anybody has any suggestions for things they'd like to see, you're welcome to drop something in the chat here or uh, go to... Actually, oh, how did that happen? I just found a chest. I am the luckiest sork in the world. A chest just fell out of the sky right in front of me. And me with only a leisure domain of four. I don't care how often other people call it loggermans. That doesn't even have... Yeah, no. Leisure domain. Learn your English slash French. That's another thing I could do a stream on. Correct pronunciation in ESO. Wow. I'm sure people would just flock to hear me yell at everybody for bad pronunciation, right? Mm. Huh. Alrighty. So, thank you for joining tonight's stream. And uh, I'll be uh, keeping this around for about seven days. Uh, I think things hang around for seven days in the uh, in Twitch. Maybe 14 now, but it's going to change at some point to only seven. That will change if I get more than 50 followers and become a Twitch affiliate. Affiliate? Yes. Twitch affiliate? Twitch. Yeah, affiliate. That's the first level. Uh, partner. Mm, long ways away, but we're going to shoot for affiliate first. So this is me signing off. Thanks for everybody joining. Thanks for the comments in the chat. Uh, if you have not followed me yet, please follow this stream. And uh, we will catch you again soon. Good night.